Crazy, never lost it. Now I pick her up in the Mercedes and I'm frosted. 23 and know we took the lead. Watch me talk shit. Everybody see me on my top dog shit. They were saying I was going crazy, never lost it. Now I pick her up in the And welcome and to the National Meat Treasure Podcast. <laughs> I, I had to host. jump over you. <laughs> your host Sasha, aka Jiminy Cricket, because we're here for a little mini episode since uh, Cardona was on vacation slash work trip slash power outage slash uh, Corona, right. and he wanted to tap back in. And also for the hundreds of new fans we've acquired because of Joey's penis. Joey, how does it feel to leave behind that legacy? <laughs> you know, it feels good. Uh, I'd like to thank God. Uh, the almighty Satan and my therapist. Shout out to you, Adrian. Oh, we we dropping first names. I mean, Is that what I'm it's, doing? It's, there's a lot of Adrians. If if, if yeah, the, the, the therapist's safer. last name was weird, it would be like okay. yeah. You know, if you if you like type in therapist Adrian, I'm actually gonna see that if I type in therapist Adrian sat down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me know well, what you find. Just tell me what you find. Anyway, Daddy's back home. Daddy's AKA. back home. Usher, a.k.a. King Aragon, the return of the king, um, all topical, all the time, a.k.a. Uh, Ricky Martin's defense attorney, uh, who is going to be in overtime. Did you guys touch up, touch on this? I don't think I heard it during the two weeks that I was gone. Touch on and I, don't... The, Rick, I haven't heard the name Ricky Martin. In, all right. In I got a voice. What, what weird news do you get, dude, on your, on your Yo, Weird what the news? Fuck? How is this weird news? He was one of the biggest recording artists of all time. Like literally dropped La Vida Loca and every single human being sang it at one point. When did this when did you acquire whatever this news is? Uh about uh right about when I went to Vegas. All okay. right, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna blow so, your mind real quick. All right. behind. There are legal adults who have never heard of Ricky Martin. That's how old <laughs> that is. That song was big in like ninety nine. Not even. Okay, listen, I can re- I can vividly remember sixth grade dance. Going bananas. I mean, graduating and working for that lay, okay? And in my high school, in my uh, my elementary school dance to La Vida Loca, because I was like, ah, 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 ah. Not a good memory in hindsight, but still funny and non- nonetheless. Uh, because Joey, I'll let you. Oh, what? Uh, I think we lost Sasha for two seconds, but Joey, go ahead. Probably it, getting a uh, phone call or something. The man mm, from the yeah. three. Yes, it is Thriller from the three. <clears throat> aka joey from the national meat treasure podcast aka the actual meat from this treasure uh because uh for some reason when we talk about uh joey's penis or a penis in general people like to listen um y'all are nasty. Is, this. Uh, y'all nasty. is the star of the show i i would like to be but thrilla is just the man here well he is he are really they is. Are, is, are they following because of my dick or are they following because i said there's something that made me sad related to dicks and I'm on medication for it. Y'all sick fucks. Y'all are some fucking sick. sadists. Disgusting. Yeah. So speaking anyway, of dicks, we love you. Can I, tell a, can I tell a story? We do. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. Why is my internet? Oh. Well, since you're, you're not ready for the story, let me just feed what yeah. I, what I alluded to. Yes. Ricky Martin has been found <laughs> and accused. Yeah, because I do. This shit was crazy. I don't know why you guys haven't haven't even said it, anything about this yet. I haven't heard of Martin is 57 years old. <laughs> listen, I'm not going to say anything else about nice about the guy, but Younger than apparently, he, the, uh, apparently he had been having a non-consensual sexual relationship with his his nephew. Holy fuck. Yeah, bro. Listen, okay. I, I know this doesn't mean much to you, Sasha, but like the Latino community in the 90s, like yeah. really, really wanted Ricky Martin to be their guy. Like everybody was like, "This man is hot, sexy. He moves. He can speak Spanglish, kind of." And we want him to be at at the top. And you know, time moves on. He uh, he came came out of obscurity to to announce that he was he was gay, which not a surprise. Oh, I like this view. Uh, Look at that. You get a little view of everything. Um, but <laughs> that shit blew my mind. I had like no idea that like that dropped out of nowhere. It was like, oh, Ricky Martin's being like, I was like, what the fuck? So, yeah, that's so, my only Ricky Martin news. And that's why I there, think his defense attorney is working overtime. Are there do you know the details as far as when this was happening? 
and uh, for, how old his nephew is? Uh, he he was underage, uh, for sure. It was, let's see, right here. Pulling it up. Singer, songwriter. Listen. Still, the man looks crazy. Like, crazy. Like, w like wow. R Ricky Martin says nephew's sexual claims were painful and devastating. Listen, bro. Incest? That's kind of crazy. Like, that. that's just one thing. Like, that's a line. I don't know. A lot of people are willing to cross, except if, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to call cap belt. on that. Uh, you are Hispanic. A lot of people cross that line as far as cousins in DR. We know that. Don't do no, that. Hey, hold up. I'm out. Not to be. I don't. I don't want to be one of those guys. Um, but I'm Puerto Rican and Colombian. Christian is Colombian. We are not Dominican. All right. We okay. Are. I, know, I know that. I know that. But I'm just saying. You're like a lot of people won't cross it. There is. I I, I get on Spanish. T so here's the thing here's about one. a podcast, right? So here's okay. the thing about a podcast. When I'm on the podcast TikTok. There is no algorithm because I don't lurk on the podcast. I okay. just post. I post right. and go. So right. whenever I do get on there, it's always like it is. It's just throwing random shit at me. It has no idea what I want to see. Um, <laughs> and a lot of them times, I do see those jokes about Dominican girls Dominican visiting incest. their cousins, and then their cousins all trying to fuck them. <laughs> well, and they just make a joke of it to a popular sound. But fucking can... for a green card is way different than fucking. Oh no, they don't want to leave DR. They're just like, oh, my cousin's oh, hot. They, I mean, but, and Americans blaming, seeing their cousins we, in DR we... is a different thing, right? So you start to get those like demonic thoughts and be like, damn, I haven't seen anybody like this, and I really want to put my platano between those two. I don't know what what what, what do we call them like uh, chicharrones? Like yeah, I think that's that's a good one. <laughs> like, I don't I like, don't think so because chicharrones are crispy. I don't I feel like that you booty know, can be crispy. It. Let's be real. Is that how we? Is that what we want? Is that what we have? Uh, you, you, you know what? Uh, uh, you know what? You don't get crispy booty. This is a you get body ass. positive website. I mean, no, website? you get crispy body ass. Positive um, podcast. <laughs> this is how I know you don't be traveling. You get the crispy ass when you're on vacation and her her ass is peeling because she's been in the exactly. sun all day. And you're yeah. still clapping it. it. You're clapping it. You're peeling her shit off as you're Got clapping it. it. The yeah, sand falling off the booty cheeks. That's that crunch. That that extra salt from the earth, if you will. Um, you 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 can straight up put a te put a tequila shot right in that booty hole. Make yourself a margarita if you put a lime in it. Because the salt's already there, baby. I think so. Salt the rim. <laughs> But are We're we blaming back. these Dominican men? Because they're cousins. Uh, you know what? It's not. It's it's a pretty. You know what? It's a stereotype that's been thrown around, and it's true. Sorry for the tens of Dominicans that listen to us. Um, wait, wait, wait! I just I just came up with something. Is that why the Hispanic community backs Trump because they're all sleeping with their family members? Chill. That listen, was bars, bro. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Hold on. <laughs> Birds of a in feather. The, at the risk, at the risk of sending like a meninist, not all Hispanics. <laughs> we're on that train, bro. We, we <laughs> shout out to shout out to one of our homeboys who you want to hear bars when he told me after I was talking shit about Trump, saying you have a lot of nerve as a Hispanic man who just got a promotion in Trump's America to say anything about that man. He didn't even say that as a joke. That wasn't even like, you know, like sarcasm that came out of his mind and out of his lips and, and typed it for the world to see. I, I, I had never been the, the word today flabbergasted because that was exactly how I felt. <laughs> I, I, you know what's I crazy, though? ran out of words to like say anything. I love like, that. I, I love that after two days off. If you were gonna bring up incest for some reason, you decided to bring up the Ricky Martin shit that no one's heard of, but you didn't bring up Elon Musk's dad. Bro, that's bro, the big that's oh. the big incest story right now. Oh, oh, that is the other incest story. The and I was I I was off. Is that uh, technically called incest when you fuck your you stepdaughter? Know, it's Wait, a Woody Allen daughter or adopted daughter. It's a Woody Allen story. That's what it is. Uh, <laughs> oh wow, uh, we we've definitely reached over the limit of of like '90s jokes. So we're we're done. Um, <laughs> no, seriously, he fucked his his stepdaughter. Was his stepdaughter? No, his adopted daughter. He raised her. That's just fucking weird, bro. Like I don't know. You have a daughter, Sasha. Like 
Like, even if like you what you clean this human for like like a lot of time and take care of it, and then all of a sudden you're like, hmm, damn, you really do be looking thick. Like, I, why? <laughs> Why? Why? She, and she's like 28. <laughs> she's 28. Uh, she was like 28 or something like, and she gave birth to the baby in like 2019, and they just came out with it now. So they knew they'd done something fucked up, but did the world smash him or do anything about it? They just wrote about it, and then they moved on. But uh, to, to redact a little bit also, apparently Ricky Martin's nephew withdraws the harassment claim against the singer. Um, so in this... <laughs> In this less than 10 minutes episode, (laughs) in this less than 10 minutes episode, I was able to give you guys a full story uh, of what I don't know, bro. Like, oh no, you gave gave the backstory, you gave his history, what he means to the Hispanic community, his what he means to trails and sexuality. So, you really just gave everything top to bottom. The Ricky Martin episode, apparently, the Ricky Martin mini episode. Yeah, so uh, the the Ricky episode for sure. I mean, listen. Uh, now I feel good. Wait, is his this, is this no. nephew's name Morty? Because that would be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Morty, I'm just putting it in your ass, Morty. Don't worry. <laughs> Pickle Rick. Okay, that was enough. Uh, we're done. <laughs> Where do you hide the pickle? Um, and it's apparently in Ricky Martin's nephew's ass. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, so now I feel better, right? So, um. I don't know if, how his life is spiraling out of control, but if it is, I feel better about dancing to to uh, live in La Vida Loca uh, because that was important to me at one point. I don't think it was that important to you. I don't think I don't think you've listened to La Vida Loca by choice in at least. Eight I don't years. know. I, may, okay, by choice <laughs> in eight years, that's different. Okay, but that's I'm, I'm a 35 year old man. Like I I shouldn't be jumping back to my to my youth like that. But uh, you know, I want to tell a good story. I want to tell a good story. It's 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 not as wholesome. But uh, speaking of dicks, uh, since we're always on that topic, so I'm at the club last night. I, I work security for the new fans uh, on the weekends, and I'm a bouncer at a club, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm working the patio area, right? And there's this guy. He actually looks like your brother. Uh, Thrilla. 303 Bam, check him out. He's a rapper if for the for the new people. But uh, he looks like 303 Bam, but he's like a little more, like way more stocky, like just like built, thick kind of dude. No facial hair, buzz cut, right? He's got a Nike tech suit on, fresh. And he's kind of like outside the, the kind of patio area, kind of just like trying to get somebody's attention. So I go over there and I'm like, can I help you, man? And he's like, yo, bro, like, uh, I really just want to order some food, but like I can't come in. Like, is there like a waitress who like works the patio who could help me out? And I'm just like, well, well, bro, I think you got to, I think you got to go in. I think that's up to the waitress's discretion. You know, we're, you know, you know how it is. We're understaffed. He's like, yeah, yeah, bro. I understand that. But like, I, I can't come in. I'm like, well, why can't you come in? He's like, bro, I, I didn't really think I was going to be down here tonight. I got my stick on me. I look in his pocket. Sure enough. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a Glock on him. And I'm like, said, I'm, I'm oh, really okay. And I'm like, uh, I mean, I'll ask one of the waitresses and they, they can see what they can do for you. He's like, yo, tell them I bless them, bro. Tell them I bless them. I was like, all right. So get one of the waitresses. I was like, yo, that guy wants to talk to you. He tells the situation. And dude just like, they take his order and dude just stands out there for like, because this is a long wait. This is like a club slash restaurant. So if right. you order food, you're not getting that food for like an hour. So sure. he posts up outside with one of his boys. They're taking selfies. They're not bothering nobody. Not even smoking out there. He waits a good 50 minutes. They bring him his food, breaks him off. He says thanks and goes on his merry way. And you know what? That's that's the America I want to see. Everyone blicked up and polite. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that that kind of begs the idea. idea. You, you know what? Maybe we don't need Trump's America with just full on what. But what if all of us could carry a katana? Uh, I mean, I feel like here's my thing. Sword. I do, I do sword. enjoy swordplay over gunplay. But the thing is, like, you can't. You hide do a sword. enjoy swordplay. Hey, hey, hey yo. Yes. I, I do. I do enjoy gay sex, and I'm not going to correct it for the viewers. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I have sex with more women than all of you listening. Probably not, but I'm pretty dry these days. 
you're not dry. You're you're like you're you're like a on on like a like a monk kind of trip, a monastery kind of like clearing your head kind of motion. Which I'm which, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on I me. I did not expect you to go less hoey for the summer and ultra hoey for the winter, but you know, whatever we got to do. You know, I feel like there's, there's something in the, in the, in the stars because I feel like women pretty much don't give a shit about me in the summer. I feel like, you know what it is? It's probably women are already fucking several dudes in the summer. And I just have, I've, I've entered the chat too late to be in the roster. You know what I mean? Like I just, they already lined it up during winter. They had the, they had the winter vacation guy. That was like their situation ship. He was never serious. Then they start racking up more dudes when it gets warmer outside. And by summer they're stocked up. So meanwhile, me, I'm in the house all summer, all winter by myself. Spring, I fucking hate spring because it's always raining. And then when summer comes around, I'm like, yeah, let's be outside. I'm, I'm in it. I'm, I'm with it. I'm into it. And then like, it's like, oh, everyone's roster is full. So I really just get no play during the summer. This is a pretty <laughs> consistent pattern for me, and it's fine because I get to work out more. I'm down four pounds. Uh, I want to start doing thirst content on my actual TikTok at it's the off season. It's the off season. It's the off season. It's the off season. All right, I get it. You know what? Um, uh, I, I'm I'm here for it as long as there's there's uh, there's happiness in your life, Sasha. Uh, that's all I'm for. Um, but you know, it's been two weeks. It's been a long two weeks for me, guys. Uh, a really long two weeks. And maybe I could get into it for a couple minutes and yeah, vent yeah, a little man. bit. Bullshit. Uh, yes. Tell us about your COVID power outage, quote Las unquote, Vegas. work trip. I'm just gonna so, start the narrative that you're cheating on your you wife not, for the fans. <laughs> Can you that. not like yeah. what is you, what are you trying to do? Listen, she doesn't even listen to this. <laughs> oh, she does. Yeah, she does, and she reports back on everything that is said. Okay, yeah. thank she, you. She has listened to every episode, bro. She does it on purpose because she's trying yeah. to catch something that I might be saying a little off color, and then she goes, "Oh, really?" And then I got to deal with that for like you know a couple hours. But listen, Joni, I'm only if you're listening, Joni, I'm only starting this narrative to give the fans some drama to catch up on. All right. You got to lie. It's all about content these days. This is an attention market. All right. I'm trying to get you paid, J- 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 Joni. I'm trying to have us on a, I'm trying to have us all on a, on a beach in Santorini by next year off me talking about my own dick for, <laughs> for, no. for, for, for hours you're a week. Just, you're, you're not just talking about your dick. You're talking about my dick. You're putting it at risk at this point. That's, so honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you know, you got to stop it, Mister. Uh, but and then, in any case, I'll get into it. I love the drama. So, <laughs> I flew out to Vegas, um, which was not that terrible of a trip. But I flew out of a regional airport, so I had to do a fucking connection, which makes the day like that much longer, right? So I finally get down, um, uh, do the whole convention. It was crazy. There was like forty thousand people that were kind of like that. They were stopping by running through these expo and so if you've ever been to like a convention over in in vegas especially like you know in the auto industry it's a bunch of cool shit that they just bring like literally like full-on anything that you could ever imagine that has to do so it was a good time uh there was a lot of debauchery that was not had on my part but of course i got the call from my wife worried about me uh it's it's weird but you haven't spoke to me all day yes because I was talking to other people for all day for about 12 to 14 hours. Did you hours. feel any better, Joni? He also didn't talk to us. We had no idea what he was doing, which is why I we started this narrative. <laughs> I, didn't talk to anybody. I was so concentrated on just working and, and getting, getting things out there and, you know, uh, doing whatever I had to do. But anyway, fly out uh, that Thursday and I get stuck on a tarmac going home for f- right about four hours, which... Again, I, I repeat, I was on a regional air uh, airplane going back home. So it's those little small fuckers that like literally nobody above five, nine can stand up straight. Like it, it's it's awful. It, 13, 13 rows, tiny little thing. I'm fucking right next to the bathroom. Everyone's going in in the bathroom because, you know, we're waiting for hours and on, on end. And I'm like, Man, my throat feels dry. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm good. Like, it's just because my throat's dry. You know, I've been on a stupid fucking yeah, airplane. Yeah, you know, whatever. I'm like, you know, whatever. It's okay. I get home. I tell Joni, I was like, my throat's a little dry, but eh, nothing else. Next morning, I feel increasingly more like garbage. And I'm like, what? This doesn't make sense. Like, I shouldn't feel this bad. I wake up like five, like five, like 4.35 a.m. 
And I go, well, whatever. I've got a test at home. Let me just try it. Boom. Positive. Fuck me. Uh, because I had just spent that entire night before kissing my kids, hugging them, making out with my wife, because that's what you do. And now I'm like, oh, great. I just gave everybody COVID. And sure enough, everyone did have COVID. So that was fucking fun. Uh, and as we're getting over kind of the worst hump of the 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 sickness, uh, our power goes out due to some fucking nutty fucking storm. Um, and normally, maybe maybe half an hour sometimes, maybe a couple hours. Sometimes it'll be, you know, a few hours. So um, we, we sit tight. It lasted almost 72 hours, um, which was dog shit because we uh, were just getting over that. Uh, and now we've got no power, no nothing. And we live in a rural area, which anyone who who might experience this, we got well water. Well water is dope because it's fresh, it's clean, it's beautiful, but it needs an electric pump. So when the electricity goes out, the water goes out. So now nobody can take a shit. Nobody can piss. Nobody can wash themselves. It was miserable, bro. The worst. The worst week. I was pissed. I was still upset. I'm glad. I'm back. I'm alive. We've got we've got power. We've got everything. I, it's just I, not for me. Not for me, guys. I, I don't think I could ever go back and not have electricity. Let, let's let's be real here. I don't I don't know how people do it. Like, you know, these homesteaders with their dreads and their white faces pretending like they can live off the land for for perpetuity, which is bullshit. Because why do I want to live off this fucking land? I want fucking star fruit. I want exotic fruits. I want exotic meats. Bring me that kangaroo meat. Do not. I don't. I need modern. Is that what you moved to Pennsylvania for pe- kangaroo meat? Because I think you're a little off by five thousand miles. Off. But the point is, is that convenience is there. They can ship it to me. They can right. bring it. To me. <laughs> I Did, have you had kangaroo? Meat. Have you had kangaroo meat shipped to you recently? Uh, I'm lying as a motherfucker, but because the only thing I'll eat is chicken and 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 other normal farm animals in the United States ecosystem. Uh, I won't even do deer because uh, venison. Uh, I'm sure tastes wonderful. I'm sure it's great. I'm just a little chicken shit, so that's just me. Uh, but I want to know I have that option. That that's me. That's just me. The option of kangaroo. Can you buy kangaroo meat? I'm not gonna look that Fuck up. Fuck yeah! <laughs> you, can. you can buy camel milk today. I mean, camel milk is one thing, but camel. Do you have a camp? Are you? Do you have a camel? Are you getting it from the tap? No, we're we're getting it from somewhere, and they're shipping it to us again. Let's let's find this out. I know I can get camel milk. It's it's expensive. Exotic animals. It's really I, ate some, I ate some duck eggs the other day. Duck eggs are fire, bro. Ooh, so fatty and delicious and filled with protein. From the farmer's that, market. It's like double the yolk. Wow. That sounds crazy. Whoa. How much is... Wow. You can get camel milk powder for $74. What, uh, what that's just that's just some shit nigga. like if a nigga just had too much money and was just like i'm gonna get some camel milk powder for 74 dollars that's oh, a yeah. whole tank of that's gas it. for most Bro, of that you. really that's is it. that really is like oh, can you imagine the apocalypse uh, like you're just pouring camel milk powder into your car because that's all you have left <laughs> so, just hoping camel it does milk something, hoping is, it kickstarts it is quite expensive obviously uh, as we're realizing right now, but I just found a 24 pack of 12 ounce um, camel milk. So like those little guys, you know, you just pop and whatnot. You ready for it? 24 pack, four hundred and eighty dollars on Amazon so today. Send it, send it my way. What's the protein content? Uh, let's find out. It's got to be pretty high. I remember it being pretty high. Um. So I'm reading that know. camel milk is high in antioxidants, which mm-hmm, help prevent mm-hmm. damage to your cells, cells that can lead to serious diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and heart diseases. It is, it is also high in several vitamins and minerals, including vitamin A and B. So, so like what is all this? food, basically. <laughs> 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 all yeah, food because... that's real. <laughs> all normal shit. Uh, what does that make it? Wow. Uh, if it's $480 for a 24 pack, it's a dollar an ounce, a dollar twenty five an ounce. That's just that's wild. Like, who's who is there? Like, is there that deep of a market for it? Like, that right. that's what I'm always wondering. So, so if, you, I, if you took a shot of camel milk, it's a dollar twenty five. 
5.4. Yeah, it's cheaper than like... Duce. <laughs> is it? A shot at a bar is like 7 seven to 12 bucks, depending on where you're at. 3 All to 12. Right. All right. All right. It's not too bad. Uh, oh, wow. It's, it's, yeah, let's, 20 let's, bucks. So let's take let's a shot of camel milk. milk. Camel milk is the closest natural substance to a human mother's milk, according that's to that's fucking Mimi. weird. Um, who found that out? Like, who was like, <laughs> right? Mm. Oh shit, Linda, you gotta try hey. this. Like, did you know that your that your titty milk is is, is as close as it can get to this camel's milk? Or do you want to know what I just envisioned? What? I just envisioned like a woman sucking off a camel and then a man sucking her pregnant breast and then kind of just switching off and trading to see which tasted the same. That's a hot threesome, I think. Lots of humping on that one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great note to end this mini episode on. <laughs> This has been a mini episode of the National Meat so Treasure. I had to switch trades. That joke was so bad, I literally had to switch hats because I don't know what to do. Men um, at work. Um, this has been the National Meat off Treasure. To, to Saudi Arabian porn after this. This has been the National Meat Treasure mini <laughs> episode. <laughs> <laughs> follow us on all social media platforms tiktok at national meat treasure uh instagram at national meat treasure facebook at nmt pod follow me on tiktok and instagram at thin.cruel.lips and uh what's up to all the new viewers uh thanks for the support on on joey's on joey's beef and his issues uh there's a lot of supportive comments i suggest you go through those joe a lot of, it's really a lot of nice. comments if people were saying been. some wonderful nice things about you just telling you not to, to hang in there, King. Um, you know, I'm hanging. I'm hanging. Someone's hanging. Bet you are. I'll, ha- I'll hang from the rafters. Dark. Um, <laughs> it has been a pleasure. I have missed all of you guys. I have missed my two boys. I, I love you guys. It's been nice. Uh, but remember, keep checking in. We're coming up with, we're cooking up with stuff all the time. There's a, bit, there's a lot of cool stuff happening uh, in our camp. Probably not, but I'm just saying that so all of you check back in. Uh, but <laughs> yes, do check and uh, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Keep going. We love the interaction. It is hysterical. Some of you guys should, you know what? You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to put an incentive out there. If you're funny enough on the comments, we might have you on the show. Maybe. I don't know. You'll never find out. Zing. <laughs> Joe? Uh, follow me on Instagram um, and TikTok at St. Thrilla and follow at 303BAM on Instagram at 303BAM and on Apple Music and all streaming platforms. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Michael all right. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. This has been the National Media Project. Crazy, never lost it. Now I pick her up in the Mercedes and I'm frosted. 23 and all we took the lead. Watch me talk shit. Everybody see me on my top dog shit. They were saying I was going crazy, never lost it.